So we'll be working on mostly on the hamstrings, more effort, emphasis on the hamstrings. This one is like a, a hamstring version of a bridge. The bridge is like more gluteal activation. This is also good for, for rehab to activate and strengthen those um, hamstrings. You can go for reps, you can, um, uh, contraction and holds. You can use a couch, a furniture, I've got, you can use a bench, something soft. I think better for beginners to go a little bit further in. As you, as you, uh, to me, it, it feels a lot harder as you go out when your heel is a bit off the edge. So if you want, start off further in and just pretty much assuming you don't have any lower back pain and just you can do, hold yourself a good 30 seconds make sure you're not sinking or you know moving to one side or, or sagging and and come down very slowly back to your, back to the flat back again like the bridge you have your arms up or your hands on the ground really up to you you can go, you can go for one leg and calm down and slow in control back down without compromising Like so, that's, an, that's a progression. And, you, and to make it a lot harder for yourself, of course, you know, right on the edge there. That will help fire up, yeah, you know, the, the, the hamstrings, most obviously. And, you know, do some holes like this, really test your hamstring strength. So just just another variation. You don't have to do this one, but it helps correct the um, maybe the inconsistencies of the hip. To me, it sort of help bring back the hip and back into shape. But some, when, I, when I had the hip impingement many years ago, my hip was so out of whack. This was like one of the exercises that put me back, hip back into shape. That's just one of many exercises, but this was like my first earliest ones I've done. But you don't have to use this one. But you can always, you know, consider it and give it a shot. <laughs>